Rwanda, also called the Land of a Thousand Hills, it is a small landlocked country in East Africa with a densely packed population of about 12.5 million people and a GDP size of close to $10 billion. The Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation, SDC, has been partnering with the government of Rwanda since 2002 to support different sectors such as health, education, agriculture, and governance. In 2017, SDC launched an action research in the western province of Rwanda to increase local understanding of the causes of chronic child malnutrition or stunting and discover local adapted and innovative ways to overcome them through a new horizontal learning approach. The action research was implemented by the Swiss Tropical and Public Health Institute. Children are defined as stunted if they are shorter compared to their age. Stunting has multiple causes with severe short-term and long-term health and psychological consequences, including impaired brain and physical development, low performance at school, and reduced economic prospects as an adult. Besides all efforts, childhood stunting remains one of the most persistent health and development problems facing Rwanda. Based on the recent demographic and health survey, 38% of children under 5 are stunted, the western province being among the most affected. Based on the expected target for 2020, there is a need to find other innovative approaches to reduce the high prevalence of stunting in the country. The proposed innovative horizontal learning approach is based on the assumption that people have innate capacities that can be catalyzed through peer support for their own and their children's well-being. Based on this assumption, the project was designed around two parallel interventions. Regular growth monitoring, where height and weight of children was collected and plotted on individual and community growth curves to help mothers visualize the nutrition status of their children and monthly learning together sessions where caretakers gather together to share knowledge and good practices, support each other to better understand growth monitoring and actively engage themselves in a participatory peer-to-peer -peer and horizontal learning process where the innate knowledge of mothers is used to create learning and stimulate behavior change. The project targeted 2,700 children under two years of age with their respective caretakers and 90 community health workers in 90 villages of Rusiro, Nyamasheke and Karongi districts. The horizontal learning approach was well received by the community. Motivation remained high throughout the life of the project. Mothers improved their knowledge on nutrition and the causes of stunting. The prevalence of severely stunted children reduced. But most importantly, caretakers shared their knowledge and adopted healthy behaviors. My husband helps me to search for food. And when I am not around, he prepares food for the children because I have shared with him what we have studied in the trainings. I try to teach my neighbors who have children what I have learned and some of them now practice it. I have changed my mindset and daily living about taking care of children in my family and now we are a good example for others. I have learned how to prepare a balanced diet and to take enough time to feed my child. Now I have a small vegetable garden at home and everyone knows how to prepare a balanced diet. Me and my wife have set commitment of taking care of our child to avoid malnutrition. Now we have got chicken and a cultivate vegetables at home. We build a standard toilet, well constructed, covered and closed. And now we are happy to use this toilet. I am no longer feeling ashamed in front of others. I saw a change because my child has moved from the yellow to the green line. This action research 
demonstrates that an innovative participatory and bottom-up methodology of horizontal learning can efficiently complement and reinforce the conventional capacity building approach normally used at the community level. The interventions contributed to increase in the visibility of stunting among caregivers and communities while emphasizing locally appropriate good practices which can help prevent chronic malnutrition. Behavior change at community level is possible. It can open up new ways to catalyze good practices in families and communities. It can be harnessed and leveraged for policy reforms.